record button here. All right, so we're recording live. So yesterday, Henry, we talked about uh, bridging the, the uh, veteran technology gap. Now that we didn't really call it that when we started, but that's really what it is we're trying to do here. And it was the first part in a multi-part series of videos that we want to do to interest veterans who aren't really on the technology bandwagon to get on board. And we know there's a lot of factors why they can't. They could be homeless, they could be broke, they could have a limited income. They've only got so much money they can spend on food. We know that the price of getting to the internet is expensive. It's like printers in that they could give you the damn printer free, but you're paying $110 a cartridge to print something. You're talking about something that's really been impacted by COVID because all of those people that you categorized had availability to the internet before COVID struck. Right, right. They could, they could actually go to a library, they could go to the VA, and a number of them do. That's right. The patient Learning Center, and they have access not only to the computers and the World Wide Web, but they also have the access to the printers where they could actually print off documents that they wanted to save or, or carry with them. Right. It all boils down, if they really wanted to do it, the, 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 the technology and the resources were available to do it, but they didn't get off their butt to go do it. Or they, or they you know, the, the question that we continue to get faced with, or they just didn't know. Well, I mean, or that's correct. That's correct. How many veterans do you know that have smartphones and they can get to their favorite games and their favorite news channels, but they haven't registered for My Healthy Vet yet? They don't have the premium account and they don't have it on their phone. Right, right. And now with the VA releasing all of these new applications, once again, we're, we're, we're put into a position as, as uh, advisors for our VA telling them that, you know, we have all of these problems that are being reported and their immediate response is, well, we've already fixed that. Right. And they can, and they can reference the applications. They can reference my healthy vet. They can, I mean, all of these things literally have had solutions except for a few things like community care. Yeah. Right. Right. But, but all of these things have solutions, but the veterans just are not aware of how to get there for those solutions. Right, right. And so you've got a lot of these vets who, uh, and I think about what you've done and I've done here, right? I, If you ask the average person, why did you, did you buy that cell phone? Oh, so I can stay in touch with the family in case I have an emergency. What if you never have an emergency? Oh. Well, that's another thing now, right? So you get into that kind of a dialogue and people are actually saying they have a need. That's why they went there. Somebody didn't just say, you know, Bill, go on down there and buy that cell phone, spend $955 to get it, and then spend another $25 a month to get to the internet so you can use it. Uh, but you'll be happy. No, I won't. <laughs> he won't be happy. Well, I told you, there was a football game yesterday, and as the players were going off the field, the losing quarterback going off the field, again, I know this because I Googled the information, the average NFL game from snap to whistle, if you add all of those time segments up, is 11 minutes. You're going to watch for three hours, but only 11 minutes are they actually playing football. All right. The offense is on the field half the time. So that quarter, quarterback, let's say he played six minutes. 16 games in a season, my team's not going beyond the 16 games ever. Right. <laughs> so 16 games a season, that quarterback is going to play 96 minutes. And he makes $27 million a year. That's $205,000 a minute he's being paid to play football. Right. Now, where did all that knowledge come from? Duh. Conversation with a guy. My dad came across the Pacific on a, on a ship that was built by Henry Kaiser. 
Really? What was the name of the ship? Oh, I think it had the last name of it. And here's a picture of the guy's dad's ship. And then you go to the records and you can track that voyage because they have all of the deployments of those sure, vessels. Sure. I mean, you, you start saying, you know, is this guy alive or is this guy dead? Was it, who was it that starred in that movie? All right. What does this medication do for me? How do I find my way to a VFW or to a vet center or to an appointment for a comp and pension physical? Right. You start going down the list of this thing, and one of these things becomes more and more important all the time. And it is the new way. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. it, there, it it's almost like Prometheus in the fire, right? That, in, that these things have changed the way things get done. It's the way you keep informed. It's the way you keep up to date. COVID virus information, things of that nature that can impact your health and put you into an early grave, right? Are, it's out there. Whether you like it, dislike it, believe it, don't believe it, it doesn't matter, okay? The point is you cannot make an intelligent, informed decision on health care, on buying a car, buying groceries, anything. I, a good friend of ours, he buys it at, at, at the grocery store. He doesn't even get out of his car. He just calls on the phone and says, hey, I'm here to pick up my groceries that I ordered online. He could have gone one step farther and had them delivered to his door. There you go. And so probably get all, it for free. So we huh? have all of these veterans who are saying that they have a problem with the VA. And yet when we, when we inquire the basic questions, and the basic questions are, are you registered for your health care at the VA? Right. Do you have a health, My Healthy Vet account, premium account? Did you learn how to use secure messaging? Check your appointments? reorder yep. your prescriptions, get your health care records. Right. And if they say no, I'll tell you, I'm tempted to say, where's your abacus? Right. I did just about right. Because, I mean, that is, that is the thing. If they're not going to take the time to learn the tools that are specifically set there for them to succeed in getting their health care, then they should go. probably stop complaining about not getting the health care that they desire because basically what they're saying to paraphrase here is no i i don't want the premium health care i'm going to make it as hard for you to provide health care for me as i possibly can and then i'm going to complain about it <laughs> right to my my friends too oh isn't my god that, isn't that <clears throat> Well, there you go, Henry. And I think those are things that we need to start addressing more of and quit, start taking off the gloves a little bit because veterans, for whatever reason, and, we, and I'm guilty of it too, okay? I'll be the first to admit it. I've been healthy all of my life, never really had a problem until the big event. And then you become more aware, but we have a tendency to relax that, you know what I mean? And we say, ah, I feel really good today, but I learned just because you feel good doesn't mean you're well. Exactly. You can be just as dead feeling good. <laughs> and if nothing else, I learned that lesson really quick, right? So yeah. let's continue with these videos, get these veterans on board and urge other veterans who are technically advanced and engaged with, their, with the technologies that if you know a vet, help them, right? Give them some ideas on how they can keep the costs minimum, right? For example, a good example of that is, is Magic Jack. That saved $1,200 a year off my phone bill for a device that I never used, except once in a blue moon. It, but my reason for keeping and spending it? Oh, in case I need to dial 911. Well, guess what? You can do that with Magic Jack. Yeah. Oh, and there we go. Loyalty can be a, could be in death sentence in some cases. Or, hey. 
Yeah. If we're doing things the same way that, you know, because we're doing them the same way, we really need to stop, pause, and analyze that. Well, there you go. Hey, appreciate the time today. We'll do another one. We'll keep these things going. This is part two. Urge these vets to go back and revisit part one. It's all available on YouTube. Just got to keep us aware and let us know what your needs are. We'll take it to the next level for you. Okay. Thanks again, Ed. Hey, thanks. Have a good day. Enjoy your day. You as well. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Get out of here.